Good morning, everyone. Good morning. This is our first day in London. We're going to ride the great big red London bus. Uh, we're going to stop off and do some of those, um, I guess, touristy sites like the Tower of London and Big Ben. Big and, ben. you know, you guys ready? Ready. Let's, Let's do, do this. <laughs> Here at the Tudor Court. Definitely London it is. It's got those stoops. Ah, uh, the bustling streets of London. We're gonna head into a Mocky D's real quick here. Just gonna grab a drink and something quick. Uh, so here's our sandwiches. They have a double sausage McMuffin. You don't have that in the States. They also have a double bacon and egg McMuffin. It's three pounds and 49 cents, which is about about four dollars American. They also have a cheesy bacon flatbread and they have some porridge. <laughs> uh, they have breakfast rolls with ketchup. Uh, bacon roll with brown sauce. That looks good. We got three drinks and three sandwiches and it came up to 16 pounds and 58 cents. Well, the sandwiches must be made upstairs and they have this little elevator that brings the sandwich down to the bagging area. So I got the double sausage with egg and cheese. It's a pretty big burger. And I got a drink, and it's got a paper straw. I know a lot of folks like me to point that out. I What'd you get, Dawn? Bacon, egg, and cheese McMuffin. That ah, looks good. Oh, it's got like a double sausage, yeah. cheese, and oh, and an egg. Yeah, so you got the same thing I did. Yeah. It tastes way different than it does in the States. Uh, there's no spiciness whatsoever to it. None at all. Yeah, definitely, and it's it's good. It tastes good. I like it. A telephone booth. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Let's. And it works. Uh, it's a beautiful morning. The sun is out, and such a it's it's nice and warm with the sun on your face. Yesterday, uh, it was it was just cold and just wet windy. and yeah but it's a beautiful day Don you look amazing today yeah, Such a charmer. yeah. Uh, Tennessee. Oh, Tennessee. and there's our ride the, the big red bus uh, yeah we're gonna have some fun then you got to do like a double-decker bus here a double-decker bus while you're here in London and now it's getting cloudy again and the sun felt good. It's gonna be cold up here. So it's supposed to be a high of 50 today. All aboard. is taken I got Dawn in front of me Hi. yep first time here and Jamie's back here and was, all there was was like seats <laughs> yeah it's cold, it's cold. <laughs> really cold yeah, so that's Hyde Park yeah, the stones played there that's the marble arch that's where they used to do hangings back in the old days oh, Sherlock Holmes of course we're on Baker Street
Piccadilly Circus. Scotland Yard. <laughs> Queen Mary's Rose Garden. Which is beautiful when all the roses are blooming. Love the crowns on top of those lights. Here at Trafalgar Square, right? How you say it, right? I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyways, we are here, guys. This is the famous square here in the middle of London, and I believe this has to do with the Battle of Traf Trafalgar. Trafalgar. <laughs> and yeah, it's beautiful. Look, look at the building. It almost looks a little bit like like Paris or something, right? With the building and all that. Amazing. We're gonna take a look around. Then they also have the National Museum here, which has got some fine artwork. They have like some Rembrandts, right? Rembrandts and guys, bear with me. I'm gonna probably mess up half of the pronunciation of things. And I imagine folks down below will correct. <laughs> but uh, we're going on, we're gonna check this little square out. And it's amazing, got some amazing statues around here. Also another thing I just learned, they don't wear baseball caps here. so. I am labeled as a tourist right off the bat. They're like, oh, you must be American. You're from, you. <laughs> and they go, and they go, oh, you must be a Texas fan. <laughs> I'm like, pretty close, pretty close, close, pretty close, right? I'm, if I'm gonna like mispronounce all the names of things here, then we're from Texas. <laughs> Guys, let's go ahead and check this out. I heard this is the place to be. This is the place to hang out and get some bread and some good eats. Dawn does not agree with these signs, do ya? No, I don't. <laughs> you want to feed the pigeons, don't you? Well, other. everybody back in the day used to come here to feed the pigeons. Well, this is one of those areas that we're knowing. Folks against feeding the pigeons these days, isn't there? What do you think of this? It's definitely a uh, hall. It's hard, it's hard to take photos because everything's cloud covered. Yeah. It's very, very, very hard. But, I, but I'm guessing this, what this is, it has to do um, with the battle. You know what I'm saying? All these scenes. Beautiful, wow, it's amazing. Highly recommend if you do come to London. I imagine you're gonna come here because everybody comes here. But it's, it's awesome. They got Leonardo, Michelangelo. Uh, they have all of the uh, turtles here. <laughs> That's just a joke. They have Raphael. Guys, they have all the famous paintings here. We're gonna go in and take a look at some of these pieces. Uh, some of them I recognize, of course, Monet. Very, very beautiful. So we're here at the National Gallery. And we're gonna head in and see some Monet and Leonardo and some Raphael. <laughs> Here's a Claude Monet here. Oh, train station. Beautiful Renoir, yeah. Then here's another Claude Monet at the beach, 1870. Yeah, here's a Van Gogh, 1888. That's his chair. 
Uh, two crabs from 1889. Another, another Vincent Van Gogh. And this one here I recognize, the one with, with the flowers. Head of a peasant woman from 1884. Yet again, it's Vincent Van Gogh. Uh, so this is the wheat field. You can tell it's got that uh, that Vincent Van Gogh look to it. Very deeply painted. Paints them real thick, I noticed. You can tell Van Gogh is very popular. It's very hard to get up and see them. Claude Monet, this is water lilies, and it's huge. It's probably one of the bigger paintings in this room. And Claude Monet, water lily pond, 1889. This is from George Bellows, Men of the Docks. And I just, I love it, I love the, the old ship in the background and that. Dawn says this one's her favorite. It's a Renoir, dated from 1881. The National Gallery here is amazing. I just love the architecture of the building. Of course, the paintings are, are magnificent. Some of the most well-known ones. That horse one's just, just pulling me in, it is. Oh my goodness, look at this. Wow. It's totally amazing. So this here is a, a Rennie. Yep, here's Leonardo da Vinci, the Virgin of the Rocks. Painted in 1508. So here's a self-portrait of Rembrandt at the age of 34 from 1640. Oh my goodness. It's right there. Don't get too close, he'll bite you. <laughs> you set me on the ball out, please. They don't play at all. <laughs> So I think they're gonna do some kind of like changing out of the horses or something maybe or some kind of like that, yeah.
That was amazing. So this is where, I guess you call it the horseman's guard or where they keep the, uh, yeah, the horses. They did a little changing of the guard. What, what, what'd you think of that? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Dance, huh? Yeah, it was. It was a lot of, a lot of fun. The I think I the horse, Look at the size of that cannon over there. Oh boy, they don't play. That was amazing. So we got we saw the horses switch out. And they had a little ceremony, and then did you see the guy with that great big like gat? Yes. They don't play around, uh -huh. dude. You, you mess up, man. And <laughs> I think it was an Uzi or something. It was crazy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so if I'm not mistaken, that's where the Prime Minister lives. Right over there you can see the heavy guards. Ah, and it's Big Ben! <laughs> yes, he's huge! I hope it goes down. The Elizabeth Tower, but the bell inside's Big Ben. Yeah. But we call it Big Ben. Because and there it is, Big Ben. <laughs> and they're protesting, that's where all that loud music is. <laughs> Winston Churchill, one of the most notable figures in World War II. Westminster Abbey. Look at that. All of our travels across America, and we're over here in England, and there's a statue of Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Hold on, it's Abe. That's amazing. That's really cool. You know, everywhere we go in America, there's always a statue of Abraham Lincoln. And there's one over here. And this here is the Supreme Court. So it's open to the public from 9.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And you can actually observe, you can actually see the hearings Mondays through Thursdays in legal term time. Huh. So you can go in there and see a see a case being brought, but I know they're not gonna allow any cameras in there. And the politicians have taken to the streets. So that's the famous River Thames. Yeah. Wow, amazing. Well, there it is. <laughs> oh yeah, and the river's behind us here. Cool, all right, this is awesome. This is what you come here for. This is what this is about, to see a clock tower of all things, but a really cool one, an iconic one. Probably the most recognizable clock tower in the world. Bar none. Oh, there's the London Eye. I heard you can see everything from up there. Well, we're waiting in line for the London Eye. What do you think? I'm excited for it. I mean, everybody knows the Eye. It's yeah. almost as famous as Big Ben. Almost. It's getting there, right? <laughs> and and just think, when they first built it, they I weren't. Remember. They didn't really want it. Remember? Mm -hmm. At first they were like, yeah, that would look sore. The eye will look sore on the, the skyline. Yeah. And it's here and it's it's gotten famous. It's huge. Look at that. Definitely bigger than the Pigeon Forge wheel, right? Yeah. 
for three people is 114 pounds. Oh, wow, look at that. I said three. Three, yes. Gate two, please. Gate two. We're, we're on gate two. Oh, that's what we're going to be riding in right there. Oh. Yeah, they're huge. Mind the step, oh boy. <laughs> oh, you can actually sit down in here. Oh, and there's Big Ben. Hello and welcome to the lastminute.com London Eye. Are you ready to be part of London's skyline? Whilst you're enjoying the amazing views, the ride might stop briefly at times, just to help other guests get on. This is totally normal. I love it. <laughs> it is. We just, we just started the journey up. I think it, it creeps up. It was real slow. It's not real fast. It's big. This it's like we're in a giant egg shell. Yeah, this is definitely the biggest like gondola, I guess you'd call it. You got a nice gondola in the air. In the air. This is like you could park a car in here. <laughs> that is awesome. Look at that. Look at the views. Jamie, come on, get oh, in here. I'm yeah. Sorry. yeah, you're part of all this here. Look at that. Yes. Hi. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's it's nice and easy. You don't even feel like you're like going very fast. You know, oh, it's easy. Now there's one a handful of folks in here. And I know they can get busy. I know there's a lot of complaints online, like, you know, it's so you, know, you can't, but this is awesome. Yeah. And you get to see all of London. All, all of London. London Bridge is over there, the new London Bridge, because the old London Bridge is in, is in um, Arizona. Uh, Arizona, yes. We saw that, mm -hmm. remember? We saw that. We did. Insert pictures. <laughs> we did. That was impressive. This is impressive. The city is impressive. Definitely of, royal. It is royal. What about this? <laughs> it's amazing. Whatever you do, don't look down. Absolute beautiful views of London. Do not lean against the door. Some of the structures of the building was over here. It was the shell. Yeah, it's solar on the one side going up on a triangle and that one. Yeah. Well, now there's a train station just over there. Best view yet. Our big Ben over there, look at that. Wow. You feel like you're on top of the world, don't, don't you? Top of the world. Yeah. <laughs> There's Buckingham Palace just over there. That's where the king's probably at. We're almost to the top. They are, and soon we will. The very top. You can see everything. Wow. I highly recommend it. It was like 114 pounds. 
come up for all three of us. It's well worth it, especially for the views. Well, Dawn, I think you're officially at the top. Yes. The highest point. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, I see that. And they're soon to be at the top. And yeah, we're taller than... I like the structure of those buildings over there. Huh? One's got solar panels and the other one kind of just goes up. Yeah, there's the Queen's Walk there. And those little light poles down there, you'll see those in a lot of different movies. They film a lot of movies in here. They also have the Sea Life Aquarium and some other little attractions. And you can even take a little river cruise, cruise up and down, down the river. I don't know if we're gonna have time for everything, but we're gonna do just the basic stuff on this trip. Taking in the sights and sounds and, and some food. In fact, thinking of some food, I think that's what we need to get. We need to get some food. But not just any food. We need to get some like some good like like some good English food, you know, like some bangers and mash or couple buses. Ready? Smile. <laughs> and it looks like we're gonna be coming in for a, for a landing, as they say. Okay, our flight is almost over. So please make sure you take everything with you when you leave. We really hope you enjoyed being part of London Skyline and to hear about your trip. So please raise us on trip advisor. Great views. Beautiful views at that. See you again so. soon. One step one step. Oh, it, it does get you at first, don't it? <laughs> what do you guys think of that? That was nice. It was. It was great. <laughs> uh, best views, right? Let's say definitely the best view so far. I don't know, we might get in some more trouble before this is all over. Yeah, so here's some of the merch. Got some really cool keychains and all. Oh, they have a pin for the map. Even though I don't have a map of Europe, but maybe I will. Or I'll maybe I'll put it on the map we have. That's cool. They got some Christmas ornaments and some coffee mugs. It's nice tea too. Nice hoodie. Kind of need to buy a hoodie. It's been been kind of cold. Oh, ooh. rosebud. You gotta say rosebud. rosebud. Just just say shake it. And say rosebud. Rosebud. There you go. And I got another pin for the map. We're back on the big red bus, and we bought this three-day hop-on, hop-off ticket, which is not badly priced. It's like it's really reasonable. It's like six sixty dollars a person for three days. So it helps us get around a little bit. It can't take you everywhere. And it, sometimes you gotta wait and you know, plus the times, I think they end them at 5.30. So it can't be your your total, like um, your transportation on your trip here. But it does help and it's fun, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and now we're gonna be heading to the uh, Tower of London. London, London, yes. London? So we're gonna go see like, Bunch of just a bunch of crazy stuff there, right? Off with their head, uh, yeah. right? Uh -huh. King Henry beheaded a lot of people there, especially his wives. His wives. Henry VIII had six wives. King I'm Henry. Henry. Yes, <laughs> King Henry is a. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out what King Henry did, right? What did you do? <laughs> what did you do, Henry? <laughs> off with their head. Actually, who who is the one that always went around with off with their head? 
There was another one. There's a cartoon character. Oh, that was Alice in Wonderland, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it has nothing to do with... The Queen of Hearts. See, I... Alice in Wonderland. You know, I I think everything in life I've learned through Disney, (laughs) really, to be honest with you. (laughs) Kicking up. (laughs) (laughs) The Coke is making a comeback. Yeah, we got these little tiny (laughs) Cokes, right? Everything is small here, okay? So a large is small. There is no large. (laughs) And, um... Yes, these are like a can of Coke. What how many ounces is these? Or how many? Probably what, milliliters? Milliliters. I don't know. 500 milliliters. What is that? What's the conversion? I don't know. Anyways, that's what it is. So we're gonna head into Mickey's Fish and Chips. It was recommended to us. It was established in 1962. We're gonna have some some London fish and chips. I can smell the fish and chips. It smells really good, don't it? Yes. So here it is. Look at that. So I got some fish, some chips. Don got some fish. He, you you got some coleslaw, right? Look at the size of that. That god, yeah. Look good. Mm. I still like to try the other place, the older one. Mm. So what do you think, Don? It's fish. <laughs> it's fish. It's fresh fish. Fresh fish. It is really good, isn't it? Fresh yeah. Fish. It's not like oily like Long John's back at home. You know? Yeah, nothing like that. Cold slaw. Cold slaw. Will you tell me what? Mmm. Coleslaw is super creamy. Wow, that is amazing. And the fish here cannot be beat anywhere. Um, just, just good all the way through. Folks, that's going to do it for today. Here in London, we did do the Tower of London, but this video is getting kind of long. So that'll be tomorrow's video. Folks, we love you, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video, the Tower of London. Good night, everyone. As if of you two been to England, you want to see the real Big Ben? <laughs> yeah, well, I will show you.